Hi, Sag. Sorry, you guys, it's been a while. I'm so glad to be reading for you today. Let's take a looky-loo at the end of October, moving into November. It's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone that watches. Things could be opposite and roles could be reversed as well. Please try to take this reading as it resonates for you and don't take it too seriously. Tarot's supposed to be fun, entertaining, and enlightening. It's what I'm here to do for you people. If you're new, welcome to Moon Body Libra. Please don't let the name fool you. You. I get a lot of psychic downloads for the signs of Libra and Sagittarius, so I gave you guys your own little channel. Hit the bell and subscribe so you know when I read for you. Link to my website to check out all of my private services is down below. All right, let's begin. So they wanted me to use this really cool Oracle deck that I got like three years ago, and I didn't like it when I first got it, but something told me, don't throw it away. You'll probably change your mind later. And I did with you. Whenever I get a new deck, I have a tradition. I The first sign I read for the deck with is Sagittarius. So I'm like, here we are, <laughs> better late than never. Uh, four cards uh, flipped out. Demonstrate your vision, communicate leadership. The catalyst or the challenge is like the maturity that it brings because we have this planet of Saturn. Mm -hmm. So there's caution, there might be limitations at this time. Uh, some of you, this is like a work reading. Um, demonstrate your vision and communicate in a, in a role of leadership. You may be being considered for leadership at this time. Uh, you need to know the, the problem is whether or not you're ready for it and whether or not you can deal with some restrictions and limitations. The more and more uh, uh, a mutable sign puts themselves in the box of a leadership role, they often feel boxed in. That's why Sagittarians, if they're the boss, you'll never see them at their desk. They roll up their sleeves and they work right next to their employees. So yeah, I'm sensing that some of you are like, I want to be in leadership, but I'm like, hmm. I'm hearing it like, yeah, I might feel like I can't be as creative. There is creative opportunity here. You do need to do what you want. Leo is here to say, do what you want. Mercury is here to say, what do you want to communicate? Aquarius is here to say, something's got to change. You might be hitting a glass ceiling. You're a little different. What's new and different about you? You may be a bit unconventional and eccentric at this time. Also a bringer of change. Act like a leader, the sun and Leo. Okay, you've got the constellation of Leo and their ruling planetary body of the sun. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking about leadership, a vision for leadership. Again, I'm hearing that some of you might be considered for leadership. And I don't know why, but I just got very excited about that for you. Uh, whenever Leo comes out, it like makes you get all excited. And you're already a fire sign. So I was like, interesting. So I wanted to clarify that a little bit more. They asked me to pull out my... Uh, Sacred Geometry Oracle deck for that. Also not one I usually use. I was loving that. They're saying 27, listen to your intuition. The energy of intuition is supporting your ability to conceive the subtle language of the realms beyond the 3D reality. I'm hearing that you need to really pay attention to all forms of communication because Mercury came out. Look at your Mercury sign. It'll help you get in touch with the way you communicate, deliver and receive information, how you learn, at how you move through life. I'm hearing subtle language. All the different ways you communicate are important. You may have to read between the lines and listen between the lines at this time. Listen to your intuition. It's all about commitment, okay? Um, how, how much can, of yourself can you devote to something at this time? I'm hearing, I just heard I'm overloaded, okay. Okay, right now you might be a bit overloaded. You have to have unwavering faith and belief, but I don't know that you can right now. Otherwise, you, your intuition wouldn't kick in. Our intuition only kicks in when we're feeling a little nervous. So you're like, I don't know, Spirit's saying, not right now, but later, give it time. So that's a very specific message for someone about like a role of leadership, creativity, but also organization, making change, uh, making things happen quickly. Spirit's saying, it needs time. The sixth chakra is the problem. It's the ergonomics of how you do what you do. You guys, if any of you are stressed out, this is a warning. The sixth house is about health, but it's also about like the daily ergonomic way you move through life. So 
Yeah, I mean, it's your third eye, but I saw and heard sixth house. Like, that's the sixth chakra, but I saw the sixth house. So, like, how you're moving through life. Uh, you need to get your prescience involved a little bit. For those of you that are intuitive, you need to lean into it. I'm hearing some of you need to channel your own messages about this. And in regards to work, because this says sixth chakra, but I felt and saw and heard sixth house, and that didn't happen by accident. It happened for a reason. Watch out for overworking yourself. Some things need to be tweaked about like the way you move through life, your daily life. Uh, some of you are overworking yourself. Right now, spirit sees you as focused on the future, but nervous. There's a big focus on money at this time, and there is a lack of clarity. There's also some jealousy here. Okay, this could also be a partner too. This could be messages about a romantic partner. There might be thinking about their role of creative leadership, and um, they're nervous about the future. I'm hearing some of you are telling your partner, you need to hang on, you need to be patient. With my career path, with your own career path, um, they are gonna. Uh, this is gonna take me to leadership at some point. I'm hearing someone might not be being patient with you, but Sagittarians are very patient. Uh, I call you the impatient, patient fire sign. <laughs> like you're a mutable fire sign. You should be impatient. You're not. You are the most patient sign. But I'm feeling like something's getting the better of you. Here's your big advice for the end of the month and moving into, they told me the first two weeks of November you needed this message. Right now, it's the full moon in Sagittarius. You need to look at the bigger picture right now. So zoom out in every part of life. That's going to help you focus better. And I know you guys want to focus. And there's your arrow. There's the uh, bow and arrow. Um, in order to hit your target, you need to zoom out more. You need to look at the bigger picture at this time. Also, Fullman and Leo, don't let pride get in your way. It's time to release negativity. Yeah, we've got Aries down here. There's like fiery tension here. Here's Scorpio here. Okay. Aries, Scorpio, and Leo. Lots of intense energy, fiery energy, and passionate energy. Once we get these two zodiac signs involved, it's like, all right, I hope everybody's in a good mood because... <laughs> Uh, your pride might be getting the better of you, and that's surprising for you. Um, of the three fire signs, you typically seem to have the least amount of problems with pride and ego. Uh, it can get the better of Aries and Leo um, more often than it does you, but this might just be a time when like, your ego's being bruised, um, you're feeling prideful, spirits saying, it's, it's just your time to be a little, you know, tweaked about something. I get it, but try not to let pride get in your way. Anything that you've been hanging on to that's negative, try to let that go. And that shouldn't be hard for you. Give it to Scorpio. I know y'all don't want to hold on to that. They will, Scorpio will take it for you, okay? The pride, the bruised ego stuff, frustration, irritation, any negativity, just like let it go, let it go, let it go. I'm also hearing if you deal or work with a person who is the prideful, difficult one, they might need a little bit of help. Um, you guys aren't into psychoanalyzing people, but I'm hearing um, they could use your perspective and your advice right now with the negativity. They just don't want to hear it. I'm hearing, look, zoom out with like a lot of parts of life. Zoom out when you look at yourself. Zoom out when you think of time. Um, I'm hearing... Now is a really good time to plan and think about like some long-term goals. Um, the short-term goals are one thing, but if you have any long-term term goals, now is a really good time to like start to plan for that. But you're not going nowhere with the negativity, Sagittarius. You guys can't carry that around. It's so not your job. Don't let that pride get in your way. Uh, it might be getting the better of you, might be getting the better of coworkers, partners, stuff like that. So those are your channeled messages. Let's take a look at what came through for the tarot. I asked Spirit what energy is coming towards Sag and how is Sagittarius being seen, but this could all be you. Okay, you have to take it as it resonates for you. You shouldn't have to guess. It'll either really resonate or you won't be sure. Okay, overall energy of someone coming towards you is the three of wands. The way they feel about you is the world and the way they see you is death. Well, there's Scorpio. Some of you may have a Scorpio sun, but you're here for that Sag moon or something. Interesting. 
Also a little difficult to have Scorpio and Sag and close planets, but someone may see as something ending. I'm also hearing Sagittarius that a lot of you are thinking in that very Jupiterian and expansive way. Some of you may be thinking about moving, relocating, like in the future, I do see something ending. I do see transformation. I'm feeling death is more transformation. It's possible that someone is thinking about something with you and it feels like it's really over. Um, I'm hearing that a few of you have recently gotten into a fight with a partner. You're not breaking up. You're just mad at each other. But your partner might be thinking that you're so mad that you're about to break up with them. Like they might be like, all right, she left. He left. This is it. I got to... I got to start planning to move or something like that. Something like that could be happening for you. I see transformation for you. It is not fast. It is slow because we have the Plutonian death card, not the tower. Ugh. So if you thought something was going to happen quickly, it's not at the moment. But I feel like something is sort of transforming between yourself and someone else. It could be a person who's really trying hard to let you go. What you need to know where your advice is the hermit. I do have a queen of pentacles here. There could be a Virgo involved. And the final outcome is the queen of wands. I think that's you, but there could be another fire sign in your presence. We also have Taurus here with the hierophant and the hanging man with Pisces. Sit tight. This looks like a leadership card to me. Yeah, look. Oh my God. You have to wait. You have to wait. Also, somebody, some, some of you might be walking away from something a uh, serious commitment as well. Some of you might be about to leave a company and be like, you know what? I can do this shit myself. I don't need you people. Or like, that's fine. I'll fly solo. Fair is fair. I got what I wanted out of this. Um, justice is served. But again, there could be a Taurus, Aries, Libra, Pisces involved. I think you're leaving something on pause at the moment. You do need to see something from a different point of view with the hanging man and the full moon and Sag coming out looking at the bigger picture. But here you are, the queen of wands. So with this three of wands, you guys know I love this card. I associate it with you. What dreams may come. Someone could be at a distance from you. Someone could be considering the like the long term growth potential with you waiting for the ships to come in. It's also possible that someone's turned their back on you. Of course, this could be you too. What does the future hold? Always so forward future thinking as Sag, you and Aqua. But clarifying this is the moon, the page of cups and the two of cups. Okay, somebody may be thinking about wanting to talk to you and they're coming in very emotionally, but they're not really sure what to say. Some of you may be feeling very vulnerable about your future. I'm also hearing something about a child and I'm seeing a blue eyed or a green eyed child. I'm also seeing a child that has a strabismus with one of their eyes. Uh, they need to see an eye doctor. But like, what does the future hold? Can I communicate with Sagittarius or will I finally be able to explore something that's really important? Uh, someone may want to apologize. You may want to reach out to someone too. Again, this could all be you. But with the world and someone's feelings here, ah, the tectonic breath, cycle complete, endings and beginnings, clarifying this is the six of cups, the two of wands and the four of cups. Someone has fond memories of you. There's still a mutual attraction, but this person has more than one choice. Right now, they can't get you off their mind. You have that effect on people, I notice. I'm also hearing that some of you are like wrapping up some stuff for yourself. Like you've been nostalgic. You're thinking about your own inner child. You wish you could give that part of you a hug, but you know, you've got to let it go. You've got to move forward. But you know, if someone's seeing you this way, they may think, all right, we're a world away. Um, there could be something ending with you, or they could just see you going through some kind of a transformation process. It is quite profound. Clarifying this is the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Somebody might be having money problems, or they're just feeling insecure and kind of left out in the cold. Some of you may be playing duck and weave with a person because you're not ready to talk about something. Someone may want to have a child with you or another child with you, and you're like, I don't really know. I'm also hearing that like, again, like something may have to give, like you keep coming up short. 
Sagittarius, uh, dip into your resources if you need them. And if you're feeling insecure, here's a, a bird and they're holding the sign of Aquarius here. An Aquarius might be able to help you. Something needs to change. I'm hearing some of you are outgrowing something. Also someone, again, I'm hearing someone's worried about money. And they feel insecure about that. Hanging in there, barely hanging in there. Five of Pentacles could just feel like being left out in the cold. What you need to know or your advice is the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. Clarifying this is the Queen of Pentacles. You might literally be dealing with a Virgo. Not necessarily. That could also be you. With the Ace of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you have someone around you that may have a very good idea. They may be very excited about it, but you need to know that they need to search their soul to a pentacles here. I don't really know what to do. I'm not really sure what to do. They may or may not want to involve you in it. They need to search their soul before they take action towards this new passionate idea. They're just not sure what to do. Um, if any of you are dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a feminine that has a lot of earth energy or an earth placement that's significant, you need to search your soul about that. Uh, something is a good idea with this person, but you need to weigh your odds. Do you have time for this? Mm -hmm. You need to hear that. Some of my ladies here, this Queen of Pentacles is somebody you want to turn into. You don't need to turn into her. You just need to be more you, babe. You can handle that coin just like earth signs can. I believe in you. But here you are. And I noticed the Queen of Wands is looking away like, um, I don't know. Clarifying this is death. Okay. The Eight of Swords and the Six of Wands. All right. I think you, for some of you, there's a career thing going on here. There's like a career money piece going on. Um, I think that based on some of the original Oracle messages, you sense a transformation happening within you, but you're making a mistake that air signs make. You're doing this goddamn eight of swords shit. <laughs> Please, I'm a Libra. Let me take this from you. Let me, let me hide this card from you, Sagittarius. Don't get all trapped in your head. You're worried about maybe like putting yourself out there more. Um, you're also worried uh, about per potentially coming into leadership and getting success. Like, where is this going to go? Mm -hmm. I'm also hearing that someone might want to be more like you and they're struggling to feel like they can. I also think someone might be afraid to lose you in some way. But I'm telling you, this is leadership. This is being in charge of the whole damn thing. Okay, you're the boss. So something may be changing for you in that way, and it, but it could be marriage or commitment. I sense that there's been a little bit of a tift because you got a five of swords card. So the person in your environment, they have a few things that they want to say to you. I'm not financially stable. This could be their problem. This could be their energy. They're not feeling financially stable right now. And they're worried about something ending between the two of you. I still have feelings for you. I am becoming a better person. This person might be trying to work on their money, work on themselves. They might look a little stuck here. They're not sure what to say or do. If this person is trying to become a better person, you need to know that spirit says, yeah, they are. The hermit is a good sign. It might feel like someone's ghosting you, but it's actually a time when somebody goes within and stops looking outward and they start looking inward. And that's when we know we're on the road to personal improvement, self-improvement. I mean, the hermit's at, at the very least doing self-reflection. So this person might be worried about money. Um, they have feelings for you. They're becoming better. I'm also hearing that for some of you, this might be like a company or something. Like it was shit two years ago, but they're working on improving things. They still think you're the cat's meow. Um, they're not going to be able to pay you what you want though. I heard someone just say, thank you. Oh, good. I, if you needed to hear that, they, yeah, they can't afford you. They can't afford you, boo. Whoever you are, you're tall and you're hot. They can't afford you, okay? Uh, also things about them. Networking, I can't live without you. I don't trust myself. Are you the HR department for them? They may feel like they need to rely on you to communicate things to others. Um, 
they feel like they can't live without you and they don't trust themselves. That's their issue. I can see it here in the cards. Someone doesn't trust themselves enough and that's why they think they can't live without you. And you're like, yeah, well, I'm a mutable fire sign. Like you're gonna have to live without me sometimes because Sagittarians get like restless, bored. They don't just like leave their partners or stuff like that, but it's like, this whole I can't live without you in any kind of relationship, Sagittarius does not do well with that. They need to go find a fixed sign for that. Like you guys don't do clingy partners. It's uh it's very it's not good for you. It's not it's kind of bad for you. But this person does look weighed down, Sagittarius. Is this your ex-boss that got dumped with all the work after you left? That would be sweet revenge, right? They're the Ten of Wands. I can barely do this myself. I should say so. They think they can't live without you. They're just not strong enough right now. Two of Pentacles, what do I do? Eight of Pentacles, is their action towards you? They might be researching you, looking at something about you on the internet. Um, they are working. They may work for you, with you. They're trying to work on something. They're putting effort into something. And I was like, all right, well, what's this about? The Six of Wands, the Lovers, and the Ace of Wands again. Okay, this person has good ideas. They want to be successful. I think they want to be successful with you. They think they can't live without you. But I think you might be like, you know, I hear you, but you can't put me in a box. I'm already dealing with Saturn energy as it is. And uh, Saturn and Jupiter are happy together as long as they can have a nice volley back and forth of expansion and then solidifying and making progress. And it's a beautiful connection, but um, it can be difficult. Uh, there might be like a butting of a heads. You look like you want to do well. I feel like someone wants to do well with you. They have a good idea. They want success. They want to. They want to put themselves out there. Um, they want the right kind of match. They want choices, but this person's ready to light a match. You're the right, usually the right person to um, light a match with, but you're back and forth. You're back and forth because you have to say, this is love, second chance, but this is too much for me and I'm feeling bored and stuck. Yeah, I'm this is not good for you. You don't do bored and stuck. You hate that shit. You cannot deal. I live with a Sagittarius. I'm like, uh-huh, that's got to be horrible for them, this feeling right now. And also what you want to say is, I don't know why this happened. I want to tell you how I feel, but I don't know how to feel. You didn't see my tears. Also disillusionment, disappointing clarity. And then I have, I don't trust you. I was high on a fantasy. I put the cart before the horse. Yeah, hang on, I'm gonna look at this deck. You didn't see my tears. I wish we could go back. I play, I replay our conversations over and over. I miss hearing your voice. I wanna start over. Yeah, something went down here. Something went down and I think you both kind of feel weird about it. You're like, well, I don't know what the hell is going on. I wanna tell you how I feel, but I don't really know how I feel at this time. And, and that's why I think strength came out. And it's good that strength came out for if, for if it's for you because strength and Leo will help you compose yourself so that you don't unleash on someone. It's not like you to unleash on people, but you are fire signs. I have seen you get pissed off and pull out the blowtorch. You're the hermit. You're the way you see yourself right now is the hermit. You have a lot of wisdom to share at this point, Sagittarius. I know that you're feeling maybe a little quiet and withdrawn right now, but just know that you've been around the block a time or two and you have a lot of wisdom about life now and that's how spirit's seeing you. And the way you seem to feel about all this is the seven of wands. Get out of my inbox. What is wrong with all of you people? I just want to be left alone to stew and ruminate about something for a minute. I'm hearing you just saying either to this person directly or just maybe to more than one person, like, leave me alone. I'm in a metamorphosis stage. Go away with your money problems. Like, ah, oh, I'm hearing like, ah. Oh. I was like, all right, well, you're kind of stuck here too. You're the four of cups and they're the four of cups. You're mirroring each other. Both of you are like, I don't know what to do here. And you're like, well, I need space, okay? Get off my lawn with the seven of wands. Uh, this is a little too much for you, for sure. And I was like, all right, well, why? What's this about? And I have the wheel of fortune, the six of swords, but then to the five of swords. And here's strength. Like, 
I can literally feel you like biting your own tongue and sitting on your hands like, oh my God, you have pushed me to the brink. See, you've been through this cycle before. Cycles come and go. Everything is temporary here. You know this. Of all the zodiac signs to know this, it is you. You know this. Everything is temporary. There have been a lot of ups and downs. You've been through this cycle before. Things are changing and you're trying to move on. But the I feel like this happens in this cycle for you or with this specific situation or person. It's like, leave me alone. I need a minute. I get it. Uh, yes, things are changing, blah, blah, blah. Cool, you have your good ideas. And I feel like you try to move on to calmer waters, but then you just get, go right back to being pissed off. You might be pissed off at them or just in general, like, God damn it, I thought this was gonna be easier. I'm hearing that's what it is. You're saying, I thought this was going to be a little easier. Not right now. Right now it's, uh, you're gonna have to fight through it. I see that you, I see that like underneath there is a part of you that wants to invest in it and fight for something. But you look like you feel a little slayed. I mean, typically on the Five of Swords, we see the winner and not the loser. And this deck, it's like, I've been slayed. I think you're worried about that. I think you're worried about um, maybe like some past stuff repeating itself. I think you're trying to get over whatever went down, but it's a struggle too. And I do think you are spending a bit of time imagining worst case scenarios. Maybe you're just a little angry and twitchy right now. Maybe life isn't easy. Maybe it's a fight, but um, you have the balance for this. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Work on that balance. I don't know why, but apparently you're supposed to. So it's like, you don't really know how to feel and you're feeling kind of bored and stuck with all this and you're feeling a little overwhelmed. Something has been too much. Okay, I will say it one more time. One of your guides is like, I don't really care about like love and romance. Just please tell them that their career is transforming. They are gonna get into leadership. They do need to be patient. And it will take a few more battles to like work through stuff. Be patient. Don't let pride get in your way and all that. And when it comes to relationships here, Sagittarius, it's like this person seems to want to work through stuff. I think they're being a little clingy with you. They may think something has ended with you and they're worried that they won't be able to uh, make it without you in some way. Yeah, it's not a good way to, it's not a good way to think about a Sag. They are, they'll be your anchor, but not if you take away all of their freedom that bothers them. So yeah, that's what's going on with this person. I'm hearing this person's just too hard on themselves finance with about money. There is disillusionment. Um, I am going to do an extended because I feel like regardless of the relationship, it's worth exploring a little bit more deeply. Um, if any of you feel like you'd like to know what this person's like next move is. I kind of want to know what the two of pentacles is about. Like, what are we standing here going back and forth for? Some of you need to hear that you have a really freaking good idea and you really need to explore it soon. Okay, it's a good idea. It's a perfect match. It will take work, but you need to explore it soon. I'm hearing it's part of your own karmic journey. One way or another, you were meant to explore it. It's a great idea. It's a perfect match for you. It'll bring in more income for you and you've got what it takes. You do, you've got what, you're ta what it takes. They're pulling back and they're telling me to stop. All right, Sag, if you feel like you need the extended, the link to that will be at the top of the description below. But stay focused on the future, you guys, and look at the bigger picture. Let go of that negativity. Don't let pride get in your way right now. That is your reading for the end of the month. I'm always listening to the universe for you, Sag. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.